Aries. Aries, welcome. Let's get into a general read for you guys today. We're going to look at your current energy and see what's going on for you. Uh, keep in mind it is a general, so we're picking up for the collective. Um, and one of the, as I was sort of preparing to do your read, a word came to my mind, and the first word, I haven't used this one in a while, is called constrained, or constrained. I don't know if that means anything to any of you, but that's kind of, it feels like there's an inability to be able to do something. And so, that said, our first card out is the... Yeah, I can't even... The Death card, sorry. Followed by the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Things are changing, but it seems like it's just tough to get back up right now for some of you. Um, it just seems like there's this this heaviness that and maybe for some of you you want to end things altogether like I, it's probably very very specific few of you but I get that things are tough it's not easy um, it's almost like you feel possibly that there's not enough Stimul not stimulation. There's just not enough to look forward to. But the desire is the Ten of Cups. Followed by the Nine of Cups. Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, King of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles. This to me just screams wanting to feel loved, wanting to be loved, wanting connection in, in such a huge way. Uh, this seems such a desire for you with the Nine of Cups showing up in the desire position that there's somebody from the past that you're wanting. This has been something that maybe you've held yourself back from for so long, just trying to mitigate your own emotions. But it's something that you really desire and actually really want to work for with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this may be because you're in a relationship already and thinking that, you know, this other, you may, may have missed this chance. Well, we have Justice come up, followed by the Five of Cups, Two of Cups, and Six of Pentacles. This seems like there is possibly a divorce or a breakup here where things change. And you're looking at that going, you know what, there's some regret back there. There's some regrets from maybe not giving as much as you could have. Uh, as you're going through this, you may be questioning yourself. Uh, but with the Two of Cups here that this was this other one that you were looking back at may be something that you really want to revisit because of the connection that was there. Now what's working for you, interestingly enough, as we were talking about divorce and walking away, is the Eight of Cups, that walking away. Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and Hangman. You feel that you've lost, possibly? But going with the flow and moving in a different direction, this could even just be change of location, actually brings about a desire change with the hangman here. The Eight of Wands, followed by the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. This is what you may not see, that this communication really... Um, at this particular time stirs things for you. It stirs the emotions, it stirs the, the thought patterns up, uh, there's anxiety around this. You really need to think your way through it in order to balance what is going on. We have the Star card, the Knight of Swords, and the Judgment. Judgment's been coming out a lot lately for all the other signs as well. Hoping that if you rush in, that it'll have a change. Um, or you're hoping to rush in and make that choice very, very quickly uh, with the Judgment card here. Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Being able to figure out that path and have that 
sort of steadfastness and the um, abundance that you desire. So heavy, heavy read for you, uh, Aries. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.